We're about to hit some back biceps and yeah, man, I just, I watched church, like I watched it through like a YouTube video because I was going to be late for it. So me and my family just watched that before we came here. And then we went out to, we went out to brunch. We got some waffles. I got some waffles, some eggs and cheese and some turkey sausage. It was amazing. And then now we're here and uh, yeah, I'm just going to vlog the back by workout. Just, uh, just because, I mean, it's like, it's probably better if I do make the YouTube videos on like the weekends so that um, if I make like two or three videos a week, there's not as many people obviously in the gym on the weekends. Like if I were to make it on like a Monday or something, it's gonna be so many people just like, whether it's in the background or just like, I don't know. But, um, we're gonna warm up with these. Three sets of 15, just these lat, one, one arm lat pull downs, just to get the blood flow into the muscles. I always like, I always pre-exhaust my chest and my lats. So, I mean, shoulders, I don't really need to pre-exhaust. Legs, I pre-exhaust. I do pre-exhaust my quads. I don't pre-exhaust my hamstrings. What pre-exhaustion basically is, is just like um, going very light on, whether it's like chest flies or these, like going very light on a muscle just to like get the blood flowing, just to just warm it up so that when you do do heavier sets, you're already pumped and you feel the muscle more so that uh, you you can really like feel the mind muscle connection more. So that's what pre-exhaustion basically is, but let's get into it, bro. So if you can like see closely, so I, I did put the, the little like fluff thing on the mic just to see if it improves the quality of the, of the mic a little bit. It probably should, especially like for the noise cancellation. So I really want to see if that works good. So we're going to see that after tonight when I go to edit this video. But I mean, I want to say that, and I'm also wearing a chest day shirt. It's not chest day, it's back day. I was gonna wear this shirt yesterday, but the gym I went to was like freezing, so I wanted to wear a long sleeve shirt. But let's let's finish this warm up and then get into our working sets. All right, so I take that back. I'm doing the last two sets standing up. So if I were doing like working sets, I would not want to stand up. And um, or if I was trying to do it with heavy weight, if I was standing up, I would try to do it on like a regular cable so that I can like lean on to something so that I'm not like just trying to keep my balance the whole time. Because when you're trying to just like keep your balance, you're not leaning on anything, you can't go as heavy in weight, of course. So we're just going pretty light on these sets just to get the stretch and to really be able to warm up my lats. I don't even know what, I don't even know what that's at. Say seven. Yeah. Then we just squeeze the bottom for a few seconds. So we're gonna do the same thing with our left leg, or, or my left arm, but I don't really need to show it. It's pretty repetitive. All right, y'all, so we're just gonna do a warm-up set with one plate, but I wanted to, 
I wanted to talk to you about what my pastor was like talking about today at church. So basically the whole like, the whole theme of the message was the Bible verse, you reap what you sow. So I want to, I want to read that to y'all. I'm not, yo, chat, hey, YouTube, YouTube chat, I'm not the best with the Bible. I don't know every verse by heart, but I want to read to y'all the verse. Because it, it's basically like, like, you get out what you put in, bro. Like, nothing more, nothing less. Like, you're going to get out of this world what you put in. Whether that's, like, in the gym. Whether that's, like, what you eat. Whether that's, like, how you treat people. You feel me? So, whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit from the Spirit will reap eternal life. That is powerful, bro. That is powerful. Um, I don't know. I just want to talk to y'all about that. But there's three different grips that you can use for this. You can do just neutral right here, where you can do like this um, on top. I like to do this when I'm like just doing one at a time. I think it's just like a great angle for that. But then this on the bottom, I'm probably going to do with two at a time. So these are really like the three grips. I like, I mean, it depends on the day, bro. Like some days I like it like this, neutral, because it lets me like lift more weight. I can lift heavier weight with this than if I'm just doing this. But um, if you're doing it with your, your hands facing the ground, um, it might, like your forearms might give out before. But that's really why we want to wear, uh, what's it called? Wrist straps? That's why we want to wear wrist straps so that your forearms don't give out and you can actually go to a failure. Um, without just like your forearms being dead by the end of it. But let's get into it. Um, squeeze our back on every set. We're gonna focus on just like not going too heavy, not ego lifting, and actually like feeling the muscle working. So, so let's uh, swarm up with this. I think I wanna adjust the bench. Oh, it feels nice though. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Next set, I want to actually hear my fucking wrist straps. I totally forgot about this. Let's get it. So we're not going that heavy. Like two plates, it's really not that heavy for me on this machine. But I'm just trying to actually like feel the muscle. Especially since my neck is still a little tweaked. I don't want to just like do some stupid shit and like tweak it again. So. And plus like to a degree, these are like the, the boring sets. Like ego lifting is like low key fun sometimes. These are the sets where they, they're low key like more challenging and difficult than when you're actually ego lifting because you're actually like working the muscle more than just trying to move the weight, you feel me? So you gotta have a balance between ego lifting and actually science-based optimally lifting. You have to have a balance. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. All right, that was good. Yeah. 
so you can actually like see it. So we're gonna do one arm at a time for the last set. Dude, I really hope this mic quality is good. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna like fall down. Alright. I'm like creasing my shoes too. Oh, it feels good as fuck. Oh, fuck. Dude, the squeeze on that is amazing. I think I'm gonna go to two plates and then see how that feels and then see if that's good. Good weight for a working set. Half reps. Alright, let's take this shit off. Let me turn this shit off. I want to sweat. And I don't want to be cold. So let's see how the physique is looking. Let's see, of course they, they would put what? Oh, they would put that there, but see how we're looking? No shirt on. Bulked up 190 pounds. Holy sh! I hope the lighting looks good. Uh, let's put this down. Oh. Alright, front lat spread. Go slow. Shit. Alright, here for that. Let's go back to our seated rows. Alright, so what's the benefit of doing one arm at a time instead of just both at a time? When obviously when you do both at a time, it goes by faster. Like you don't have to, I don't say you don't have to do as much work, but it doesn't take as much time to do. So the reason I like to do one arm at a time is because like just in your brain, you're just thinking of squeezing one muscle at a time instead of both. So it's a lot easier to feel the mind-muscle connection in whatever muscle group you're trying to work, whether you're doing whatever rows, whether you're doing, I don't like to do one arm at a time fly as much, but especially back movements, I love one arm at a time. Cause I know a lot of beginners, when I was a beginner, I had no idea how to actually squeeze the muscle in my back. Even like chest, you'd be like, flex your chest, flex your abs. Like, what the fuck does that mean? But you just have to just try to imagine you're just squeezing the muscle group that you're working. It's just, just imagine you're trying to squeeze. I know as a beginner, it makes no sense. You're like, what the, what do you mean flex the muscle? What do you mean squeeze? But just try, bro. You gotta just try and try and keep trying. And then soon you're a year into it and you can actually feel the muscle. And then you know what it feels like. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. 
Uh, one more. Sweet. Yeah. That was good. Another thing I want to I want to tell you is so when you see someone like flexing in the mirror in the middle of the workout, bro, like that actually helps the workout. It helps you actually know what muscle group you're working. Like it might look stupid if you don't like know how to flex really. But like say you're training biceps and you just look at, you do a bicep set, you go in the mirror, you look, you do a bicep flex. Like it might feel stupid. It might feel like, oh, I'm, I'm a narcissist. But it's like, bro, just the act of you like learning how to flex the muscle, how to feel the muscle that you're working, just the act of that, um, helps you um, actually know what muscle group you're working, bro. It sounds stupid, but it's true. That looks good. <laughs> One more. Yeah. All right, that grip feels so good. Whew. Let's do one more and then let's go down our weight again. We're gonna go down to, I think 60 pounds. It's like faded so I can't see. Yeah. Yeah. All right, half reps. Yeah. One more. We're done with back. When I do bicep curls, I like to do both at a time. And then I like to just imagine my elbow is in front of my stomach, just like right here. So it's similar to just the setup of a pizza curl. So you go down slow, squeeze at the top. If you couldn't tell, I like to do that a lot. And then just squeeze at the top. I don't like to keep it here because it's just an awkward motion for me. And I feel like this one looks cooler. I can see my bicep vein. And then once I fail, I like to do one at a time. As you're gonna notice, as I stay more consistent on YouTube, I go to a lot of different gyms and there's a few reasons for that. One is, it's just more fun. I go to the gym six days a week. It would be 
um, I don't want to say it would be boring to go to the, gym, the same gym every day for me, but it's just fun to switch it up, to meet new people, and to just have like different environments and different atmospheres. Like some days I want to talk to people, some days I don't. I mean, recently with YouTube, I've just been talking to my damn camera the whole workout, but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, like some gyms, um, especially on like weekdays, it'll be so crowded, you can't get a machine. Some days I want that. Some days I want to like have a social hour, but there's a lot of days where I want to just like go to a certain gym. Like this gym doesn't have that many people. This gym um, is great um, equipment and machine wise, but if you are able to get multiple gym memberships and this is your passion, this is your like, this is what you do for fun, bro, I would definitely advise it. I would say get, if, if the cost is right, if the price is right financially, I would say definitely invest in it, bro. And if you're not, if you don't have any gym membership, you should definitely fucking invest in at least one gym, mem gym membership, bro. The, the biggest investment is an investment in yourself and investment in your body. If you're spending money on memberships with like Netflix or some something that's just not improving your life, why, why can't you spend money on something that can just waste your time, but you can't spend money on something that will improve your life and make your, your life better in the long run? Huh? Talking to you. I know there's at least at least a few of y'all that are doing that. That are just wasting their money, you know? Whether it's like going out to eat, whether it's, I don't fucking know. I don't know what people waste their money on nowadays, but bottom of the line, Bottom of the line, Who the f what the fuck am I saying? Moral of the story, multiple gym memberships is beneficial for me, I enjoy it. But I would say you should at least get one gym membership. Unless you have like a home gym. If I wish I had like a full on home gym, that would be fucking dope. Um, it would be a good environment, I wouldn't talk to anybody, but that would get boring fast. For me, I like to have like the drive to the gym, I like to blast my music, I like to see the pre-workout on the way to the gym. That's just like fun for me. That's my freaking like party, bro. That's my like club where you're like, oh, like that, that's, that's me, bro. That's like my time to myself. This, this two hours of my day is my time to myself. My like, I don't say it's my meditation, but I just, I don't know, it's, it's just, it just brightens my day. Like, I feel like everyone should have something that brightens their day, whether it's like a sport, a hobby, whether it's the gym, whatever, bro. Um, something that makes you wanna like wake up and enjoy your life, bro. Like I genuinely look forward to, whether it's eating my meals, doing my cardio. I don't look forward to cardio. I look forward to the feeling after cardio. But I, like, I look forward to the gym, bro. Like it's just something that like makes my day fun. But enough talking, bro. We're gonna lose our pump completely if we keep talking like this. So let's, let's hit some fucking biceps, bro. What? Let's do a drop set. I was at 25 pounds there. I just did six and now I'm gonna go to 15. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> so it looks like my mic or my camera is about to die. So this isn't why I'm only gonna do one more set. I'm only gonna do one more set, one arm at a time biceps, just because my arms are already like toast, bro. There's no need to do more. If I were to do more, that would just be fluff work and I would be overtraining at that point. There is, a, there is such thing as overtraining. Um, I think you should train hard, but to do so much volume is just unnecessary. I used to do a ton of volume, three sets of 15 of literally every exercise in the gym. But like the more experience that I get, the more I realize it's more about intensity than just going volume, volume, volume. It's more about what you do and the sets that you do rather than just doing a lot of sets. And the more, the better. The more is not the better. Like you wanna come in here and you wanna 
work your ass off so much that once you're on your last few sets, like you'll realize that you, you've done enough. Like you don't want to go out of the gym like knowing that you had more in you. That's the point. And that's about what you do during the sets. That's not about like, um, a certain amount of reps that you get total, you know, or like a certain amount of sets that you do total. It's about what you do when you do it, when you're in the sets. It's about what you do um, and how hard you're training, the weight that you're lifting, how good your form is, how much you're squeezing, how much you're trying to focus on the eccentric part, you know? So before my camera dies, I'm gonna show the last set and then I'm gonna try to pose a little bit. If my camera dies, I'm gonna record on my phone. And uh, yeah, I, I charge my camera all night. I don't know why it's bugging and, and it keeps dying. So, oh well, maybe I need to actually turn it off in between sets so that the shit, the shit doesn't die at the end. But let's get our last set and then let's pose a little bit. Oh. All right, so if I can show my face. Of course, my camera died, so that sucks, but it's time to check the phone. Best time of the day, for real. Um, these wife lovers are, oh my God, how am I getting some? Holy crap, bro. I usually don't do that pose right, but I feel like I did it pretty good. All right, let's see the front last spread. Back pauses are so much easier when you can actually see the muscle, but oh well. Wow. <sighs> Alright, we're done. Oh, let's take a seat for a second. So, oh, back workout is complete, bro. Um, pump was pretty good. I did forget my water, which was unfortunate, but oh well. Um, subscribe if you enjoyed, or subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Like and comment if you enjoyed. Comment um, anything that like I could fix, whether it's like the mic, whether it's like how I'm like going about. I don't know, like the videos in general. Like I don't know because I'm like new to the YouTube stuff, so I'm new to like the long form type of content. So comment whatever. Um, comment whatever I need to like I guess improve in the, the future videos and I hope you enjoyed and uh, I hope you you do your cardio you get your protein and you get your eight hours of sleeping and uh, yeah I don't got much else to say peace out y'all